Tonight, the Jupiter man convicted of child abuse for forcing his teenage son to live in a box-like room in the garage faces a new twist in his effort to get out of jail while he appeals. Lawyers are investigating an apparently forged letter to the judge supposedly offering Tim Ferrater a job as a car salesman. But the car dealership management says it's a fake. Our investigative reporter Terry Parker covered the trial from start to finish. Tonight joins us live with this strange new development, Terry. It certainly is strange, Todd. Here's the deal. Timothy Ferreter wants to get out on bond while he is appealing his uh, of conviction. However, this new allegation throws a new development into what one lawyer calls a clear and unequivocal example of forgery. And this may not help Ferreter's case at all. Sentenced to five years in prison, Timothy Ferreter is trying to get out of jail while he appeals his conviction. His lawyer filing this letter as part of their motion for bond, saying Ferreter is not a flight risk. He's even being offered a high paying job as a salesman at Mazda Palm Beach. But Mazda Palm Beach says it's a fake. The letter is a forgery. Uh, it was not written by Mr. Caracas. It's not even on the correct letterhead for the uh, dealership. Mazda's attorney says it's not even a good forgery. Looks like somebody had taken a website graphic, copied and pasted it onto a letterhead addressed to the judge. You might notice too, the dealership's address in North Palm Beach is also spelled wrong, missing the R three different times. Don't know motive, don't know reason, but what I can tell you is that there was no job offer ever made to Mr. Ferreter by Mazda Palm Beach. Well, of course we were very surprised and uh, disappointed, but we immediately issued a notice to withdraw. Ferreter's attorney Priya Murat said they had no knowledge the letter was forged. She says a Ferreter relative or friend provided it to the team, and she's working to find out who and why. But Tim Ferreter didn't have anything to do with this, and neither did his lawyer. Murat also says another job offer letter, this one from Matthew Fole in Colorado, is legitimate. She says Fole is a friend who attended the trial. We tried to reach Mr. Fole, but got no answer. But at any rate, Murat says Ferreter doesn't need a job offer to get bond, and the forgery should not affect the judge's decision. Well, I think that the judge can think what he wants, but he does have to rely on evidence, and there is no evidence that Tim Ferreter produce this. He was in custody the entire time. So the question is, who did? Murad tells me that she has not yet talked to Tim Ferreter's wife, Tracy, who is awaiting trial on the same charges uh, as her husband. Now, whoever wrote it did try to make it convincing. The letter even talks about the salary, $80,000 a year, with the potential to go up to $200,000 a year. And the letter writer noted that all salespeople are required to work on Saturdays. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.